Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome back to Hartung Family Farms. Man, it's great to be back. I'm actually in Iowa right now. Surprise visit back home. Long story short, I had to cut my tri trip short to Texas because I ran, in, ran into green crop. And John Deere doesn't like it when they have five people just sitting around. So I'm, heading, I'm back home. So I'm up here. It's Friday, August 16th. And let's go do some, let's go see what's going on back home. It's been about a month since I've been around here, maybe not quite that much, but I'm looking forward to see what's going on, doing some trucking and having some fun and seeing a new purchase that we bought. Ooh, can't wait. See you guys there. Also, best coffee cup in the world. Those of you who couldn't see, that was a Disney coffee cup. That's the only one I have, but it actually works pretty well. Okay, bye. I'll tell you what guys, I miss seeing corn grown in square fields. Pivots are cool and all, but square fields are the bomb. So, hi corn, hi other corn, hi Pat, bye Pat. I miss you buddy, how you been? You miss me too? At the farm guys, 6.06 .06 in the morning, got up at like 5 this morning, cause we're gonna go haul some corn today. So here's the situation. Harvest is right around the corner, probably about a month and a half or so. Here comes Nathan, I think. And, oh. <gasps> oh, this one's hard to pop up. Always gotta do a pre-trip every morning, guys. Always. Anyway, harvest is just around the corner. And, perfect. Wipe it off with the rag. Shove her back in. So now we'll check other things. Anyway, harvest is right around the corner and we all have over almost 60,000 bushels of corn still to haul. Like we have quite a bit of corn to haul. A little bit of white puffs this morning. So we have quite a bit of, of corn to haul in about a month. So we usually like to completely empty out before harvest. It doesn't always happen, but especially this harvest is probably not as important because we have about 100 plus thousand bushel of storage. Probably closer to 150,000, maybe more than that. Yeah, actually probably closer to 200,000 bushel in storage. But with this year, how the crop went, we're not gonna have near the yields. So like the USDA estimated that there's only going to be I can't remember, they're not estimating that much of a hit in bushels, but uh, we're gonna take a massive hit. So we'll see what, we well, won't know for sure until it gets into the bin, but yeah, it's not gonna be near as good of a year as we had last year, or even probably the last five years. But we'll see, we only, we, we never, we can only really guess until we actually get them in the bins. But let's get ready to go, reach it. Oh, she nice, I love the lights. And I have my hazards on to check to make sure all the lights are working. Alrighty guys, pre-trip's done. Let's get moving. So a couple, couple tire guys coming here at eight o'clock for this truck. So I gotta have this truck down unloaded and back before then. So I'm not gonna clean my windows until then. I mean, it's not terrible, but she's a little dusty. Well, let's head to ADM. With diesel engines, especially in trucks, guys, never want to gas the torque. That just puts a lot of strain and stress on the engine. So when you're clutching, when you're, sorry, that didn't make any sense. When you're clutching out for initially starting, especially under load, never want to give her some gas. Oh, traffic, how much I love the, but not really. Luckily, we only have about two miles I got dropped when we go into Clinton to get, to get to ADM. But still, I hate stoplights in a semi. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Tarpon. I hate this part. I really hate this part. Don't, don't, don't make me do it, please. Please don't make me do it. Oh, it's, it's, it's happening. I don't like it. Oh, it feels weird. Every time, I don't like it. <laughs> Something. Dusty. Going up at our local 
gas station that's on the way. Look at all the bugs that was on that thing. Jeez. So, trying to fuel this thing up. I don't know why I always get stuck with the truck that has to get fueled up. Let's do it twice in a row. So here goes another 200 hours, but it's not my money. <laughs> I'm not the one getting paid for, for the corn that we're hauling. Dang, those bugs are everywhere over that handle. Must like the diesel. I don't know. So, all right, let's go pay for this thing and head back and go get the tire fixed on this. Ooh, that's never good. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. No? No, definitely not supposed to be like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what happens, you guys can see there's a drive shaft that goes down to that gearbox there, and that drives the entire thing. And there's also a drive shaft on there. And just like Brian said at the beginning of the year, this thing was not going to make it through the year. And sure enough, it didn't. Yeah, these things were loose as loose could be. That's what actually goes in between it. And yep, sure enough, they probably went out. So, gotta get that fixed. I mean, this mower is almost 10 years old. So it's, got, it's seen a lot of hay, probably over a thousand acres of hay, which is really good. So, but we'll get it fixed and they need to get cut in hay again. But I need to go find some windshield cleaner. Oh, Windex, where art thou? Here, Windex, Windex, Windex. Well, I can't find the Windex, but I hear Nathan. He's probably gonna be coming in right there. Cause I hear his engine break and I hear him going rum, rum, rum. Cause he can't shift. Rookie. There he is. So Nathan and I just got back with our first load. So he's sitting there. He's gonna pull the loader out of the way. And we're going to belt, pull this thing on the cement so the tire guy can get at the tires. So my truck's getting some tires changed, so I'm gonna take a break and do my favorite job in the world that Brian and Cole, and it's about everyone can agree that a farmer's favorite job is cleaning up grain bins, especially soybeans. Luckily, this one's already almost done, so it shouldn't take too terribly long, but soybean dust sucks, and this is going to suck. But it is what it is. We're dumping it into our 882 Brent, Brent 882 grain cart, T8050 on it. So, shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to fill it all into that. But, gotta, gotta keep emptying out grain bins, especially this time of year. That way we can make room for harvest. Hopefully, when we fill them all again. Hopefully. Any of you guys ever used these before besides Suzanne at What the Farm Girl? They're pretty slick. The whole bales. Basically, you hook your baler up right here. It, every time it pushes a bale backward it pushes it up into the chute it collects them automatically and then when you want to unload them the only bad thing is it just piles them up there but when you want to unload them this gate right here it's pinned you just pull the lever and that drops out and all the bales drop you just drive away usually it works good sometimes you break a few bales but for the most part it's really it's much better than you you handle them much less and it's usually just much better so i'm back here while my dad's getting the part bent straight we're filling up, they're cleaning out the bean bin. You guys can kind of see. A little bit of pods in there, but not too bad. So we're we'll clean this, we're gonna clean this bin out. Completely we'll sweep it out. And then we're gonna keep on corn, I'm guessing. I just went ahead and moved this tractor 8050 and 8082 grain car forward, make room. And how they're actually cleaning the bin out is that we put a separate auger in there. We get it down so it's all coned around the outside. Put an auger in there, and it goes around and and sweep and uh, moves all the grain to the center. And then we just sweep and shovel behind it. I'll come show you. Good enough. Good enough. Uh, alrighty guys, so I'm gonna take the pickup over. My, my dad's gonna drive. 
And Pat and I are going to move an auger sitting in the back of the pickup. You guys are going to enjoy this. It's going to be unique New York. surprisingly light for how big it is well, there goes Nathan so we're gonna start pulling out of this bin for the first time ever we're worried that there's fines and stuff in the core so we are going to pull out of it and see what happens but I'm gonna climb up there sorry guys I'm out of breath but see this is where the dangerous part is when you're opening up a bin we're worried that there's the corn in here that if it doesn't start coming down in the center, there's some wet, basically be some air pockets, and when there's air pockets, it's not good at all. Man, I'm out of breath. Climbing is hard, but when there's air pockets, it is not good because if someone climbs in there, they could, they could get trapped, and then that's how people get killed. So never go in grain bins that have been recently emptied. Now I'm gonna watch and see if that comes out the center of the bin. Let's watch and we'll see if it comes out the center. It look, it's looking like it is. You can kind of see it moving right there with my left sunglasses. This bin looks surprisingly clean. All right, you want me to stay up here? So he's gonna back the sim under it because it looks, it's surprising us how clean this is, but I'm gonna step here and make sure it goes down the center. So time to play semi roulette. Sweet. So now they're going to start it up. But just look at those beans. Man, they're, they're planted so straight. It's like we planted with GPS. Oh, wait, we actually did. The only way we did that with corn. There's Nathan. Oh, yeah, it's going down in the center, all right. Looks good. Looks really good. It's looking good. This is a 12 inch, 31, and 31 foot long auger, and it loads trucks in a hurry. Right, I'm gonna watch this for a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna head down. Now guys, I'm loading this truck. Once this is loaded, I'm gonna take this down to ADM and go have a late lunch from grandma. So, Nathan and I are gonna run a load to ADM. Nathan already took off. Once this thing's loaded up, let's go. Guys, got two big piles on there. Can I have two more? Four all done. I'm gonna take this load to ADM and I am hot. It's about 80 degrees now. It's not as bad as it was down in Texas, but it's a lot more humid here, so I'm sweating more. But it's fun though. It's always fun. Load it up, ADM bound. Let's go. No one coming. Let's go. Line's a little bit longer than the first time today, but we'll make it. So I'm actually doing a bit of work right now. 
I just got probed and I don't like it. I don't like it. Why does this keep happening to me? Why? So all on corn gets a little monotonous at times, but it's fun. I like doing it. One thing you gotta learn though is when the place is full, idiom is full, you gotta look for the guy with their hazards on. Right. If exactly. you're the last person in line, you put the, your hazards on so people behind you or people coming in know where to go. That's just kind of a tip that you learn going to big grain elevators like this, like ADM or grain processing plants. It's pretty neat, if I do say so myself. Time to dump. A lot of trucks around. A lot of trucks. All done. Waiting on traffic to get out of this beautiful town of Clinton. Yeah, that's what I said. Just made it back. Time for some grub. Looks like Brian's going to be spreading some manure. Nathan's going to get loaded up right after probably when I get started eating. So by the time I'm done eating, he'll be loaded up and headed to ADM. So hopefully we'll get eight loads hauled today. That'd be nice. Maybe even 10. Who knows? Be a good day. Well, I thought it was cooler than it was today, but thermometer says 92. And Nathan isn't even done loading the truck yet. Lame. He says he's got. He had to take a large number two while I was going when I was eating so let's see what's going on it's not good to have that powdery stuff but it's really not too bad it's pretty clean corn sample which is good uh, Pat and my dad are replacing that wheel bit that uh wheel bearing I'm helping Nathan load up it's basically spotting him tell him when to start and stop and Playing with the puppy! Hi dog! Hi dog! Hi Bella! Hi dog! She looks like a rat with all her haircut. <laughs> so then once he's done, I'm gonna load up. This corn's actually doing much better than we thought. We thought it'd be spoiled and a bunch of pines and stuff. So. It's doing good. guys I already know I have a way too much footage for one video so I'm gonna go ahead and split this video right here into two you have to catch out the next one and a sneak peek of what we bought in the next video so don't think I ever explained this guys but uh, towards the end of the day after our last load we hauled 8,000 bushels of grain today sold at four thousand four dollars that thirty two thousand dollars we made thirty two thousand dollars today not a bad day if I do say so myself next video so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, a ta-ta for now.